Hello everybody, it's me Alicia. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really cool piece of jewelry slash accessory that you can wear different ways. So if you remember, when I opened May's Dollar Bead Box for 2017, I found these beautiful ceramic beads. They are my favorite. I love them so much. Um, I wanted to use these ceramic beads with this hand-dyed Chinese silk cord. I wanted to put them on there and tie knots in between, maybe add some charms and stuff. But um, I tried doing it, and the inside of the ceramic beads are too rough to go onto this silk cord. It was snagging it. So, I'm not going to do that. But anyways, I thought of another idea, because I really wanted to use this uh, silk ribbon cording. So, I came up with this design that can be used as a wrap bracelet, a choker, a headband, maybe even a regular necklace. So there's several different ways you can wear this. It's really easy to make. Um, if you're watching this and it's still May 2017, you can still get your dollar bead box. And if you're a member, you can go on there if you want and just buy these beads for a dollar each. So this is from the dollar bead box. This is also from the dollar bead box. These are called six millimeter check glass mushroom beads and these here are from the dollar bead bag these are the four millimeter check fire polish beads I forgot what color they are but as you could tell they are obviously some shade of green <laughs> and these here are tenno seed beads if you want you can use three millimeter beads in place you know the check fire polish ones that you get in the dollar bead bag you can use those in place of the tenno seed beads if you want I'm also going to be using some 10 pound test monofilament and this is it so keep watching and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make it's gonna be really easy to do So I'm going to put this to the side for now because we're not going to need that till later. And go ahead and cut yourself three feet of the 10 pound monofilament. We're going to start by picking up the four millimeter bead, a mushroom bead, a four millimeter bead, a seed bead, a tenno seed bead, a four millimeter the mushroom bead, a four millimeter, just like this, in this order, okay, and then I'm going to slide this to the center of my monofilament. I'm going to pick up a seed bead, I need to slide this up so I don't fall off the table. I'm going to pick up a seed bead right here and I'm going to crisscross both of my ends through this one bead. I'm going to put my ends together and I'm going to bring this bead down to the center. And by the way, you could probably do this with a um, nylon coated stainless steel bead stringing wire and you can crimp it if you don't want to do knotting. So now I have this here. I love the mushroom beads. They're so cool. Okay. Now that I have this, I'm going to pick up three beads, three on each side. Uh, I got my uh, four millimeter bead, my mushroom bead, my four millimeter, so there's three on my right side, and then on my left, it's kind of hard to pick these up at the ends because the mushrooms are so heavy. I'm going to pick up a four millimeter on my left string, a mushroom, bead and a four millimeter okay so I picked up three beads on each side I'm gonna hold this up so you could see this is what we have okay now I'm going to pick up a seed bead and I'm going to crisscross my monofilament through it okay so crisscrossing it and bringing it down I now have this so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to pick up a four millimeter, a mushroom bead, a four millimeter. On my other string, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to pick up a four millimeter, 
a mushroom bead. Another four millimeter. Okay, I'll slide those down. And then I'm going to pick up a seed bead and crisscross through the seed bead. Again, I'll hold it up so you could see. We now have this. And I'm just going to do this a few more times for the beginners. On each string, I'm going to pick up a four millimeter. And I need a mushroom on each string. Okay, I got my mushroom bead. And then another four millimeter. Slide that down. I need another four millimeter on this side. I'm going to pick up a seed bead and I'm going to cross through it. Okay, so crossing through it, bring it down. I now have this. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Again, on each side you want to pick up a four millimeter bead, a mushroom bead. You can go back and forth one side at a time or you can pick up all three on one side. It's up to you. Slide those down. Okay, so this side I need my mushroom bead and then my four millimeter. So I have three beads. This one I need a four millimeter bead. Now I have three beads on each side. And again, I'll hold this up for you. See that there? So now I'm going to pick up a seed bead. And crisscross through this seed bead. Okay. So as you can see, this is very easy to do. It's really quick. And look how cute that is. Because of how the mushroom beads are shaped, they stick out just like that. And it's perfect. I love it a lot. So keep going doing this weave until you use up all of your beads. And by the way, there's 25, I think it was, mushroom beads in the strand. You're only going to need... 24 of them so you will have one left over and we're pretty much going to be using up all of these except for two I think it was two beads so keep going doing this weave and when you get finished using up your beads I'll show you how to finish it off so I finished the weave and it is four and a half inches long which is perfect because then a little girl could wear or somebody with a really small wrist and you don't need this to be um, if, for example if you have like an eight inch wrist you don't need this to be uh, that length because of how we're going to use this okay so I finished the weave and now what I have to do is get in position to tie my knots so I'm going to hold it like this and I'm going to take my monofilament and I'm going to weave back into this. I'm going to go through the 4 millimeter, the mushroom, the next 4 millimeter bead right here. Okay. There. I'm going to go through the 10 seed bead right here just like that I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna do the same thing over here you're probably wondering why am I doing it like this well if I were to just start tying knots up here it's gonna get very loose on us and we're gonna have to take it apart and remake it because when you go to tie it you won't be able to get it tight enough Okay, so I'm going to pass through this green bead, get this out of my way, and I'm going to go through this mushroom, and then through the next green bead. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go through the 10 OC bead just like that. So now I have both of my strings exiting out of that 10 OC bead. So to tighten this up, you could put your fingers in here, your thumbs, and pull this tight, okay? Just like that. And then pull your working tails tight and you now have this so it's all tightened up so now when we go to tie our knots we won't have problems so I like to to take this string and wrap it all around my finger so I can keep a good tension on it and I'm going to take the end of my monofilament I'm going to pass it underneath through this hole right here bring it up and I'm going to pass through this twice I think I could do it twice because I'm using some large beads here okay so right here is where I want it to fall make sure that you have this string wrapped around your finger so it's tight and then slowly bring this down okay just like this and you actually want to pull it up in this direction because we need to pass through this green bead and if you don't pull it up it'll clog the green bead. Okay, so through the green bead, I'm going to pass through it. And if you can, go through the mushroom. If you can't, that's okay. We'll go and try it again. Okay, I'm through the green bead, pulling it through. Now I'm going to go through the mushroom. Okay. And then I have to go through this green bead or the four millimeter. And if I can, I'll go through that seed bead too. Where am I? Okay, I missed the seed bead. Where's my paper? I'm just going to pull this out of here. Pull this through. Now I have to pass through this seed bead and I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to end up tying a knot right here before this green bead. Then I'll pass through all these beads through here, come out the seed bead, tie another knot and pass through all these. I'll just weave through the whole thing like this using up my string. Now I have a knot tied right there with this string and now what I need to do is to tie a knot with my other string. So I'm going to do the same thing, pass through here. Okay, I'm basically doing the same thing but on the opposite side. I'm passing through this loop I made twice and to be safe I will hold on to my other string really tight, okay, so it doesn't loosen up on me. I'm going to pull my knot down right there between the C bead and the 4 millimeter, and pull it tight, okay. And again, I'm going to pass through all of these beads. a little tricky to go through the four millimeter and then the mushroom at the same time because of how the hole is in the mushroom. Oh, I did that one. Okay. So through there and then through the seed bead. I'll use my tweezers to grab it. Okay. Don't want to get caught. Okay, now pull both sides. Pull them tight, and we now have this. So keep going, tying knots. You don't have to tie knots in the whole thing if you don't want to. 
Um, I probably will because it's going to make it last forever. So, like I said, you would tie a knot there before the 4 millimeter beads, pass through the 3, pass through a 3 on that side, pass through the seed bead on that side, go that way, pass them through the seed bead, and then tie another knot. And you would just do that if you want throughout the whole piece if you want to make it really durable. Okay, now let's pretend that all of my knots are done. I'm going to show you how to finish this off. Um, I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to pass my end through one end of this and I'm going to try to find close to center, not dead on the center, but close. And then I'm going to take one of these ends and I'm going to pass through this hole. Okay, the next hole. Just like that. And then I'm going to go through this hole, pull it through, and through this one, just like this. We are basically sewing through what we just made. Isn't this cool? It's so easy to do. I'm really happy that I thought of something like this. And, you know, I would love to see what other beads I can use doing the same weave with different colors of the silk ribbon. It'd be really neat to see what I could come up with. I was also thinking about doing leaf beads instead of mushrooms, or maybe some other teardrop beads. Okay, now mine is a little twisted. I can go back and fix that anytime I want. It's no big deal. But this is what it looks like. Isn't that awesome? I love it. It's so cool. So now you can put it on your wrist and you can wrap the ends around like this. And I think I could wrap mine around again. But it depends on how big you want a bow. If you want a, a bow, you would need more. Isn't that cool? I think I would... I want a bigger bow though. Yeah, I like it. So I would make a bow right here. And that is just so cute. I love it. It could be a lot tighter. I made it too loose. Okay. There we go. And of course it's kind of hard to tell because I have monofilament. But isn't that neat? And you can also wrap this around your neck and make a choker. You can also rack it, wrap it excuse me, around your head for a headband, and I think it would also work out as a necklace. It's really cool. Um, if you do a headband, you might want to have this on the side of your head, and you would have one side being shorter. You would adjust this to one side shorter, and then you would have the bow tied on the top of your head if you want. Or you can have it at the back of your head, but I think the top would be really cute, especially for a little girl. And if you want, you can adjust this to center it while the whole thing is weaved on there. So you can put your ends together and you can see that mine's not really even. So I'm just going to go like that and adjust it until it's in the center. And there it is. I just love this so much. It's so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And go check out the dollar bead box and bag. I really love what they have to offer. I've never used a, a silk cord like this before and they're really making me think outside the box some new things um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and like me on facebook and don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry made from my videos on my facebook page and follow me on pinterest thanks for watching